The new associative arrays inside of AutoCAD 2013 are so easy to use and yet very, very powerful. Let me show you how they work. So I want to do a rectangular array of these two objects here. To do that, I'm going to go into the rectangular array command. I'm going to go ahead and select those objects. And notice right off the bat, before I gave it any more information, AutoCAD created an associative rectangular array with four columns and three rows. Now it's easy to make modifications to the rectangular array. Maybe you wanted to have more columns. Just pull the grip at the very end of the array over. Super easy. Maybe you want to have more rows. Once again, the same concept applies. Maybe you want to change the spacing between the columns. This grip here next to the original object allows you to easily and dynamically control the spacing. The same is true between the rows. You don't have to do everything visually. You could use the ribbon to do the exact same thing. Maybe I really only want four columns and I want to have three rows. And maybe I want the spacing between the columns to be more like two. And maybe I want the spacing between the rows to be more like three. I think you get the general idea. Now one of the advantages of associative arrays is that you can make changes to them after the fact. Simply by selecting on the array, once again, all of the editing options appear to you. So, of course, I can say I really want to have five columns. This is certainly something that you couldn't do in previous releases of AutoCAD. Now one might think, because it's an associative array, they all seem to be kind of bound together, that there would be no way to edit the individual objects. And that is definitely not true. By holding down my control key, I can select any of the individual objects and I can delete them. I can move them. And if things go terribly wrong, <laughs> I can always reset the array and put everything back the way they were before. So that is an example of a rectangular array. Let's quickly take a look at a circular array. So I'm going to do a circular array of this spoke going around in a circle. Now you'll see that I have a couple of objects that are in the way. So I'm going to use another great tool inside of AutoCAD that allows me to hide or isolate objects. I can bring it back later when I want to. That's going to make it easier for me to do my polar array. Let's go ahead and do a polar array. I'm going to go ahead and select the spoke, select the center, and you'll see that by default it put six spokes around the center. Now once again, you can easily make changes to that. Maybe I wish there were 12. Maybe I wish there were 10. <laughs> or maybe I want to remove one of the spokes. Not a problem. Simply select it and hit delete. You're going to find the new associative rays inside of AutoCAD 2013 just too good to be true. Make sure you give them a try.